Right, everybody should know what happened by now with Vic Mensa. He got caught at Dulles Airport in Washington, D.C. on a return trip from Ghana, which is in Africa, with a whole bunch of hallucinogenic drugs. But what I want to speak about is an article from about six years ago where he actually admits that he almost committed suicide from taking too much acid. And now that he's been caught with all of these drugs, all these hallucinogenic drugs, I think this is, is, is shining a light on the fact that Vic Mensa might actually have an addiction to these hallucinogenic drugs. You know what I mean? And and a lot and there's a certain crowd of people that are into hallucinogenic drugs, LSD, uh, LSD, DMT, all of these various different drugs, acid, whatever, whatever. And people, you know, uh, ayahuasca, tea. People love to take these particular drugs because. Their first time taking it, they get a very cerebral, unreal experience where all their insecurities, all their doubt, all their problems in life are answered because these drugs make them trip and it, and it, and it activates a part of the brain that just t takes you into another universe. Some people say that they've actually met God. Some people say that... They were insecure about themselves. They, they they hated themselves. But once they took this particular drug, it set them on the right path. And they loved themselves. And they figured out their, why they're supposed to be here on Earth. So, Vic Mensa actually got caught. He's 28. He got caught with 48 grams of liquid LSD. 12 grams of a psilocybin. Psilocybin, which is, you know, like the ancient Indian hallucinogenic. 178 grams of uh, hallucinogenic gummies from the same chemical, and 6 grams of mushrooms. Um, he's been charged with felony narcotic possession charges. I'm actually surprised he hasn't been charged with distribution charges because he's got, you know, he has several ounces of these particular drugs, but I don't know. But anyway, this is federal. This is going to be like a federal situation. Uh, and that's because he was in Washington, D.C. at the time, and he was also at an airport. You know, and, uh, you know, since Washington, D.C. isn't really a legitimate state or a legitimate town, you know, it's a, like a province, um, you know, things are federal, you know. And, um, yeah, I want to go back to this article from 2016. All right. Vic Mensa on near-death acid trip. I'm just glad it wasn't a real pistol. The Chicago lyricist is unafraid to speak about the pitfalls of drugs instead of simply glorifying their use. When Vic Mensa music has been taking on a more conscious political tone of late, one of the most startling lines, startling lines from his powerful There's a Lot Going On EP mentioned a situation where he nearly killed himself. On an album title track, track, he raps, I did acid in the studio one day and almost killed myself. In a recent interview with the Phoenix New Times, the Chicago lyricist revealed what led to his life-threatening episode. Starting in 2013, Mensa became dependent on various drugs as a crutch for finding creativity in the booth. I got to a point where I just felt like I needed drugs to write, to be creative, and thought it was psychedelic drugs. I did too much mushrooms to the point where I couldn't even do it anymore. I would just have a bad trip. So this is sometime after that. Mensa said, but I was in the studio with some of my friends and we did acid and we, and we started bugging out. Somehow things just took a really negative turn. I just felt really low and, that, and at a bottom and I was on the ground trying to sink into the floor. Then I went outside and went to my car. I was near hollow. It was near Halloween and I had this toy pistol in my trunk. It was part of my costume and I'm glad it wasn't a real pistol. I was just thinking about bridges and all this suicidal crap. Jumping off bridges. It scared me for a while. I was definitely dealing with that bad trip for at least a year. So basically, he was tripping so hard off acid, he thought that this toy gun that was a part of his Halloween costume was a real gun, and he was trying to kill himself. So now that he has gotten caught with hundreds and hundreds of grams of these hallucinogenic drugs, and he's already admitted that he's an addict of psychedelic drugs, I think this is a, is a, is, is a perfect opportunity to talk about this. It's a lot of... See, excuse me. I don't know if something went in my mouth. I don't, I don't care. I'm going to keep it G and keep going. But hallucinogenic drugs don't get the same level of attention as weed and all the more popular drugs, more traditional drugs. But there's a culture of people out there who are abusing psychedelic drugs simply because when they take these drugs, they feel like they're whole. I, for one, do believe that hallucinogenic drugs, psychedelic drugs, can offer you a certain degree 
of knowledge and it can bring you closer um, to, to the universe on the spiritual level but at the same time you can become an addict of these particular drugs and that 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 overwhelming intense experience of just you know going on that trip could actually hurt you you know and I think that Vic Mensa is a perfect example of this you know he in 2016, according to what he told told this interviewer in this article, he felt like he couldn't even record music without being on psychedelic drugs. He felt like he couldn't even be creative without them. So there is a point where people become addicted to these psychedelic drugs. So if you're ever offered psychedelic drugs, if someone comes to you and say, hey, if you're insecure about something in life, this LSD, this acid or whatever is going to give you all the answers. This ayahuasca tea is the answer to all your problems. Once you take this DMT, you're going to meet God. Once you take this DMT, you're going to, you're going to, once you finish tripping, you're going to have all the answers and you're going to be 100% whole. Don't do it. You know, strive to become whole naturally. Pray for Vic Mensa. Peace.